And we are back with CBS 4 News at 530. It is a Super Bowl tradition, the flyover during the national anthem before the big game. The U.S. Naval Forces are already getting ready for their moment to shine. CBS 4's Francis Wang has the story from Homestead Air, for Air Reserve Base. Spend a few minutes with these commanders. You'll quickly sense the pride they feel for their people and their planes. Incredible aircraft, uh, more incredible are the people that maintain them. This Sunday, with millions of eyes on South Florida skies, they'll get to showcase their passion to the world. I think when you see us fly over, it should give you a brief glimpse into the teamwork that we rely on on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm one person sitting in an airplane. There is a squadron behind me of 225 people that makes that happen. It's a lot of pressure. So much preparation goes into it, yet it's over just like that. As soon as Demi Lovato hits the ending note of the national anthem, it's go time. Well, I'm responsible for uh, getting those four airplanes overhead the stadium at our prescribed time. Uh, in our prescribed formation. Uniforms and rankings aside, at the end of the day, just like many of us, these sailors and Marines are ready for football and a good game. Uh, I'm from Lawrence, Kansas. Oh, so who are you rooting for? Uh, I'm rooting for the Chiefs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a question. Being that we're in California, uh, and a lot, of, uh, a lot of these young kids are from California, so I know there's a 49ers contingent. Uh, but that's okay, we'll look past that. And you won't just see these guys in the air after the national anthem. They'll also be recognized on the field later on during the game. From Homestead Air Reserve Base, I'm Francis Wang, CBS 4 News.